All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the notorious Dead Man's Curve, a stretch of Canyon Road uh, here in our hometown that comes around the mountain right here. So basically cars come flying down right here. They miss the turn and they go off like this 500 to 1,000 foot cliff. So this ravine right here is full of old cars. I'm talking cars from like the 50s all the way up to like a couple of years ago. From all the way right there to all the way down there. Today, we're gonna clean up our backyard. We're gonna recover cars that nobody else has been able to recover ever. And the trickiest part about this is there's really nowhere to pull from. There's this little narrow road right here, but it's not a great place to park your truck. So anyways, guys, today's video is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be sketchy. <laughs> and we're recovering not just one we're gonna pull as many cars out of here today as we possibly can i'm going for four five or six that's kind of the goal um we're gonna walk down in the ravine here in a minute and show you guys exactly what's down there it's full of trash it's full of cars it's full of all sorts of stuff and you guys already know that nothing pisses me off more than people dumping junk very angry today we're gonna clean it up and give you one hell of a recovery video in the process this is escalating into a much bigger project. We have like roughly six that we could see cars that need to be recovered, but there's probably more. We might be recovering like seven or eight cars out of this canyon today that uh, launched off a cliff that have been there for a while. We can clean up in the backyard. And uh, originally we were just going to take the five ton wrecker, but I think we're now going to be taking the five ton wrecker, the Hemet, and our tow truck. This is the uh, def definition of escalating quickly. What is this for? This is for recoveries? This is for recoveries. Just stuff. so we're clear, I'm not hiking these down any mountainside. Well, no, don't say well, because yeah. <laughs> that's not, a, no, that's not a real option. So I just ordered a bunch of new recovery gear from uh, Cumberland Sales Company out of Nashville, Tennessee. And I may have gotten a little ambitious when it came to like the size of stuff, because you guys know that we break a lot of stuff, right? And I didn't want to break more stuff. I want to break less stuff. And so we <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on. When you break a cable that's, that's this big, Usually you're like, okay, I'll go to the cable this big. No, 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 no. He went from this big to this big. Because uh, that makes sense. Inch and a half cable is a lot bigger than, it's a lot bigger person than it seems on paper. What are you guys doing? <laughs> is this recovery Utah. stuff for farming in Canyon? Yeah, but I may have overdid it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, if the recovery stuff's too heavy for you to actually carry anywhere, is it really going to be used? Uh, no, that's the best part. That way I won't lose this stuff. There's no way you're carrying this. I don't have any guy strong enough to no, take this from me. No, hands can't pick up the little shackle, let alone the whole wire. Are you kidding me? What did you think you were covering, the Titanic? I don't know, man. I didn't... I just saw big numbers and I kept on I kept on going bigger. I know exactly what you did. You saw a cool picture with this in it and went, I need that. It was a catalog. Yeah. I'm a sucker for a good catalog. And, and then you went, what's the what's the weight rating? Okay, I'm in. Do you have anything off the menu that I can, <laughs> that I can order anything bigger? I know it says one inch here. Anything the... you can't say, <laughs> I'm in. No, no, no. Hands-on management is definitely doing that. <laughs> That's what if this is all one piece on. too. Is this for the viewers? If you watch this YouTube and you don't see him moving that, get out. Get out. Uh, it's unacceptable. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Only if, part of the channel. Yeah. Hold on. Here we go. This is a, this is a baby version of that. <laughs> Still not carrying this down the No, mountain. but you have to carry that one. I don't, I don't know why I thought I needed so many lifting slings. Bed. Why you needed such big <laughs> lifting? These are huge. That one, hold You've on, that never one, seen a chain that size. No, no, that one's manageable. But that is unacceptable if you bought that. <laughs> and, I, and I want a refund on your car by tonight for that. But can you drag it across the parking oh lot? Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this one. Yes, one are you kidding me? That I thought that's what you were talking about. Hands moving. No, 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 this box is manageable. This box was a good call. The rest of this I'm embarrassed. <laughs> are you kidding me right now? Those are huge. <laughs> What's the weight rating on those? Oh, uh, like a couple of hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got the, the keys. 8087. <laughs> yeah, what's your zip cut? I'll see if I can lift you. 
there's no video that I want to see you using this. Because <laughs> if there is, there's a bigger problem for I'm us. done. <laughs> I'm done. If I'm using that, I've started a cult and I've got momentum. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, you have your own hand sign. I don't think we need any of this today. No, you absolutely do. What warranted him buying this? Because I get broken, I get broken ropes. But how many chains have you broke? You never broke a we chain. Break we chains. break chains. You do? We break, break like five or six chains a day. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Oh, I feel better about this whole conversation then. Okay. I, See that? That's a beefcake. And what do we have here? One that's just a little bit bigger. Yeah. What do we have over here? Did you even have that size here, bro? Yeah. No, 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 no. Totally warranted now. I, re I retract my statement. I'm glad you do. Yeah. Now I see why you were like, where can we find we'll something? Go back that to won't... the cables. Let's talk about the cables. No, no, no. That he went too hard. <laughs> but, 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 if this, if that breaks, it's... your only other option is the cable. So I listen. Yeah. I stand behind him. If that breaks, that's that's gonna snake the bed of your toolbox, the bed of your truck. Oh, tailgate, yeah, the back but if that window, breaks, you have way more issues than yeah, the no, bed of your toolbox. Breaks, that's 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 yeah, yeah, right. I bet I can't pick that up. Bro, that. Oh, man. <laughs> can anybody move that across the parking lot by themselves? No, I'm move? sure I Wait, can. What does someone get if they do? They can go through it and that'd be great. Well, let that boy give it a shot. You have it. I'll re-break my hand. All right. <laughs> so what all do we need to grab? We need to grab. Other we than have my truck will flip the presentation. You have to load it in the back of your truck uh, without scratching your truck. You can't, you don't even have anything to recover that it is this big. Yet. Not yet. We found the core of the earth. <laughs> and we are using the, the cables. We found Atlantis. We'll bring <laughs> it back up. <laughs> We're bringing the whole city back up. There you go. <laughs> I think it was just snot dogs. Oh, it's right there. Right there. Right, you coming with us? Dub, come with you. I got my day pack packing up. I got my energy drinks and my waters, my snacks. I got all the chains. Have to load all the chains. You were here. Come on. Of course. Come on, Davis. Are you coming with us? Are you subscribed? Are you coming on this magical journey to Farm Duquesne to pull out wreckages from the depths of hell with the Diesel Brothers today? Are you? Because you should be. First class, baby. All right. Well. Did you ask or did Time for me to leave. Oh, have fun, YouTube. Right, guys we're about to go down into the belly of the beast here uh this is like the canyon that leads into dead man's curve right over there so the curve where everybody flies off is right there and they go down in there and as you can see we've got cars already starting here we got a little truck and then what's left of something a little car right there so we're gonna walk down the ravine and spot out how many different pieces of junk and vehicles are down there because the goal today is to clean, clean, clean. Like leave this as clean as possible. Uh, I'm thinking that we'll leave here with at least four cars or what's left of four cars. There's not much left of them, but I haven't been down inside these trees in the ravine here. So I don't know what to expect. There could be a bunch more stuff in there. Some of the biggest obstacles that we have today are, um, this is a really difficult area to recover from. This is like literally the only flat spot 
up here other than the road and this is not flat this is rough so these cars right here are going to be recovered by pulling the five ton probably right there the tricky part is when we get further down the canyon and we have to start pulling from up there there's no flat spots it's all just narrow road and we can't block the road so we're gonna go down in the trees and see uh, what kind of treasures we can find and then come back up and make a game plan to pull them out boys ready really not that Here's a great this intro is. spot. What's this? Here's a great this intro is. spot. What's this? Why would you do that? What is that? How'd you find a beach ball full of sand? <laughs> <laughs> Not very many days that make me want to put on a pair of jeans, but today. All right, we found ourselves another victim. This one's definitely an oldie. Old, what is this, 70s? It's like a Nova or something. Kind of looks like it, huh? Yep. Oh, see another one down there too. This is, this is like, so where we're at right now is getting into kind of like the belly of Dead Man's Curve, where like the apex of the turn would be right above us. Which is why we're gonna start seeing more and more of these. This would be a cool one if we could get out. That one looks like it's pretty buried though. I just hope these frames last. I actually thought the same thing. We're not gonna have we're gonna just rip through tie points. We're literally gonna have to choke the whole car in half. I love it when you talk dirty, dude. What do we got, Hunter? Oh, here's another some more. Car, another car, another car. So uh, for those of you who wonder why we don't like vehicles in water or in creeks and stuff like that, this right here, all that is not good. Oil, chemicals, different things seeping from the vehicles over different years right there in the bottom of the creek, which ultimately goes into our watershed here in our backyard, which is not cool. Oh, my kids playing or drinking that. I don't think we found a homeless camp. Smart stuff. Ooh. Did you? Did you though? I don't know if you did. What are the odds of us finding the body hands? Look at that tank. Don't tell me that tank just all of a sudden showed up there. <laughs> this one's got, luckily it's upside down so we can get access to some tie points, although it's yeah. got a lot of. Look at how these old frames are, man. I know. Like they don't even run through the whole car, they're just. Here. Ooh, did we find ourselves an old Chevy? So these are the ones that most people can see from like the road because uh, they're like on a little bit of a hillside out of the trees. But so far we've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have to somehow get them up there. That is, that is one hell of a pull. It's so much steeper from down here. Somebody's old short bed Chevy. Dang. I don't think we realize how much these weigh. Huh? I don't think we have any idea how much, like... With all the rocks and stuff in them? Heavy. Oh, yeah. They are definitely heavy. Like, that's a ton. This is sitting there right there. A ton? That's one rock. That's not a 2,000 pound rock, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, how much does it weigh? That's a... Maybe... 578 pound rock. Hey, there's two more down here. I can't even tell what that is anymore. First I wanted to say Mazda, but now it looks like a SUV. It's a beefy frame. Wow. That's crazy. In fact, we can spun that frame all the way out of there. Oh, there's two caps. Yep. He's right here. Hunter, what do you got? Number seven. Number seven. You would find this one because it's the most ass backwards complicated one here. Yeah, Does it have a trailer? Oh, hands you good? Oh. There's sick. <laughs> There's so much garbage down here. Like, 
it's one thing to be a rolled car. I get it, like accidents happen, but to see TVs and washing machines and ovens, that pisses me off. And you guys already know that. Probably not. Oh, that's a wishy, wishy washy trail with those. Chasing waterfalls. We're climbing up the waterfall. Okay. Just made it to the top of our first uh, scout hike. That was exhausting. Look at this thing. How's your heart murmur? It's incredible how hard this is. Well, it's not only steep, but it's loose. You got guys just scrambling their way up. Dave's over there. Old uh, Davis is doing this with a camera, which is really impressive. Bad boy, I think just quit. So, one of the reasons why these cars have never been recovered before is because of this. It's a lot of hiking just to run cables back and forth before you can even start trying to winch the vehicle. So, it's a... Uh, this could be a challenge. Up there, this dead man's curve. This is where the cars shoot off. Everywhere from here through that area, which is where we just were down in that ravine. Seeing, what do we see? Probably, I lost count, like 15 different vehicles, which is incredible. Um, and we're excited to get them cleaned up. I don't know how many we're gonna be able to get out. I, Are know, we excited? I mean, I'm excited. Are you excited? We gotta, we gotta do this strategically. We don't have to make that come more than once. That's true. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. You made it. Find yourself a trail. This is the river. It looks like it used to, you know? Get this thing up and running again. 
No. I think someone on the YouTube comments can. <laughs> oh, shots fired. Number two, those ones were awesome. Those were the fun ones. They were, they were not sketchy. vehicles out of the ravine in about 10 minutes that's not bad Status update for you. We've got the first two vehicles out of the ravine loaded up. We used the five ton to basically crane the second car up on top of the other one on top of the rollback right there. And uh, we got hit with a gnarly, gnarly rainstorm just out of nowhere, completely drenched. But uh, I'm super glad that we brought 
all three vehicles. Yesterday when we were talking about coming up here, I wasn't sure if we were just gonna bring the you know the wrecker or what we we're gonna do, but I'm really glad we brought everything because we're gonna use literally every talent of every vehicle here today. Which is great. We're also using the talents of Bud right now, waiting for him to go get his lunch because it's gonna be a, a longer day than I think we anticipated. Okay hey guys, this is where things get interesting. Uh, this is definitely the most dangerous part of the job here today. Um, we are at the top of this uh, dead man's curve. So you can see the road comes up around here and then past me there. And this is the turn where people fly straight off. And as you can see, there's the cars, the big uh, Chevy truck and the other one right next to it. And then that's kind of where the bulk of all the cars are. So our only option right now is to either winch from basically right here, which we'll have to kind of side winch. We'll have to have the, the winch come out of the back of the truck and then have a pulley pulling it down the hill. Um, big risk there is obviously having the truck go over the edge. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna wait for Dave and we might actually eat lunch first just because we're kind of at a good breaking point and it's lunchtime. Many Tic Tacs later. Spider-Man 2 when he's delivering pizza, he's like, pizza time. That's now made a resurgence. Really? Uh-huh. I don't think I don't know what you're talking about. You've never seen Spider-Man 2? I'm sure that's a problem. You got in 2002? You were listening to like 311 and didn't have a beard? Very accurate. <laughs> so luckily this truck has outrigger legs. They're not the greatest. They're old manual style and they don't provide a ton of leverage, but they do provide some. So we need all the help we can get right here, hanging off this cliff edge. So, sometimes they work great. Other times, they fall out as soon as you try to use them. Hey, you wanna work for AAA? I feel, like, uh, I feel like I already work for AAA some days, like right now. Hunter, how do you feel about to go into the great beyond? Good, I love the great beyond. Hey, you want to work for AAA? I've got something. Jason, can I pull it off myself? I like a little bit of resistance. That hunter started raining. What they do? He ran for the hill. We have a. So we're gonna do a quick meeting. <laughs> uh, a quick um, 
group meeting just to make sure safety and everything is on track and that you know we're going to do a quick status update and then everything that we need to do we need to do inside the range right now because there's a bunch of stuff we got to do in here yeah has nothing to do with the rainfall oh and the lightning <laughs> let hunter and dave know that there's a storm coming <laughs> well they get flash flooded back to nebraska <laughs> What did they expect? It's not like they are hooked up yet. Tell them to help in the yoga. <laughs> Way out. How's it? The rain here. Just do a, a meeting real quick. I think we're almost done with our meeting. Yeah. And that's how I think we can increase sales. Mm -hmm. Q4 is going to be a good one. Oh, that's the better. Thanks for the presentation. Yeah. It was all in English this time. Plenty of slack. The truck didn't move back down the hill. That's what we needed. So we'll figure something else out. Man, that's a good rain right there. Feels good. Look at those water droplets. And some big water droplets. Oh man, my lens is getting all fogged up. I bought What instantly melted? Say that again. They're ready to pull on up the hill. They're ready to pull. Five thousand. Hunter and I are ready to play the Rock Dodger Five Thousand. Go ahead. Got movement out of one. Here comes number two. Survey says she's buried deep in there. She's buried deep. She might be doing a front flip. Did you not put two chains on it? Oh. Down. Back up. Back down. Why does he hate that hook so bad? Why isn't that giant hook scary? This one's number 27. I'm gonna get out of the way. So it got bound up on that cliff. And then we try and hook to the front and spin it around. So we're at the uh, the spot that I was afraid of, which is the uh, like sheer cliff rock faces. Those are basically stopping the vehicle from being able to slide up the hill with the winch. And since this is about the highest we can pull from, uh, since we don't have a crane boom to go out further without you know getting too risky, we're gonna have to probably uh, hook to the back of the vehicle now to kind of like swing it around the cliff rather than trying to pull it up and over. So now we're taking the uh, the hook off the front, got it on the back, Let's see what happens. You try to re hook it? Hey, you want to hook it to the front hunter so it spins around that cliff? I think it'll make it over it. Hunter thinks it'll make it over it, so let's try it one more time. The perfect 180. Textbook, just like I planned. Found another car. Nice find, Hunter. Is it? Well, gonna be a little bit more difficult to haul out. Seems uh, a bit more woodsy this way. Dead. 
officially done for the day. We were able to get four cars pulled out. The last two were a serious fight. They took two or three hours uh, because we had to keep on resetting the winch line and it was just a little bit of a challenge. But as you can see, we've got the old rollback with what's left of two cars. Still haven't even been able to identify what those are, which is kind of crazy. And then we got the Hemet. It's got uh, two other cars in it. We got the five ton all loaded up. So we are headed back down the canyon to the shop, ton load. We'll probably honestly come back up here for another round. Uh, maybe not today, obviously, but soon because there's still so much junk in there. And walking down that ravine and seeing all that crap in there just put me in the weirdest mood because it's like a full blown scrapyard, guys. Like, this is our wilderness, this is our mountains, this is our outdoors. It's not a landfill, it's not somewhere to dump stuff. So, we're going to continue to clean this stuff up because seems like we might be the only ones that are willing to do it. I think even some of the some of the agencies that are responsible for this area haven't figured out a way to get some of these things pulled out yet. So hopefully we can continue to do it and contribute and make the place uh, better, more beautiful and safer because I mean, there's a hiking trail down there and I would not want to take my kids hiking through there. It's literally like hiking through a scrap yard. So anyways, we're loaded up, we're ready to rock and roll. We're going down the canyon.
And just like that, we are successfully back at the shop. We got the helmet loaded down, tow truck is pulling in right now, I believe. And uh, our work today is done. Where we were working was right, let's see if we can zoom in on it for you. See that letter on the mountain? That's a letter B for Bountiful. That's the uh, canyon road that goes up to the top of the mountain. That's where we just were. And uh, that's probably where we'll be again, working on getting some of the stuff removed because uh, there's still a lot of stuff in there. Big shout out to Hunter Enzyme. I uh, got an email from him telling me about the cars. I've known they were there for years, but to be honest with you, I kind of forgot about it. And so he shot me an email and said, hey, go check it out. It reminded me, we went down and we were able to uh, get four cars out of there. Also, if any of you have any vehicles that are stuck, abandoned, anything that's big, heavy, or hard to move, that you need help with, shoot us an email, info at heavydsparks.com. It's in the description below, and uh, we may be able to help you. It's probably only gonna be like Utah and surrounding states. Eventually, we're gonna find you know, a way to be able to do stuff uh, more cross country, but as of right now, as you can see, we got tons of trucks and equipment that are not that easy to move. So, uh, for now, we're gonna keep it here. But if we can help, we definitely will. Uh, like I said, shoot us an email. And guys, don't forget to like the video, drop a comment, and subscribe because, like I said, we're just getting started and uh, we got a lot of stuff to give away still. In fact, we still have our million subscriber giveaway uh, video coming soon where we're gonna put together all the names and subscribers in a hat, pull a name out, and find a lucky winner, which could be one of you. So stay subscribed, and if you're not subscribed, what do they gotta do? Click that subscribe button. Yeah, look at that, yeah, there we go. Hunter, you forgot to tell him one more thing. What? Any other channels they need to subscribe to? Ooh, Hunter Goodrich. Hunter Goodrich, guys. <laughs> Hunter's creating some solid content. It is, uh, it's exactly what you'd expect from Hunter, to be honest with you, and it's it's amazing. So uh, we're gonna link his channel below, give him a follow, he's growing the channel. It's, uh, it's definitely worth your time. Got a good video coming up in a couple days. Do you? Yeah. If Hunter thinks it's a good video, then it's gonna be a damn good video, because he showed me one that he was like, nah, kind of excited about, and I was like on the floor laughing. So it's good, definitely worth uh, tuning into. See you all over there. There we go. Hey, bud, you got anything to say? Good day, Dave. Oh, well. Oh, it, was a good day. it was a great day, right? No broken parts, cables, chains. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. We're getting too good. Okay. Knock on wood. We'll find a way to not be good.